In today's video, I'm going to show you a demonstration on a color and shape correction. This individual had previous permanent makeup done and the color turned bluish and it was also just way too solid for her. I already did a removal once and now we're ready to color correct and give her beautiful natural eyebrows. What do you do if you have unwanted eyebrows? Most people think the only option is to let it fade. But what if the color is too dark or too solid? What can you do about it? This procedure will give you a overall view and a solution to the problem. This is great information for clients and technicians likewise, but I do have to stress that this is a very advanced procedure, so please don't attempt to do it on a client or don't have it done to you unless it's backed up with experience and know-how. Hi everyone, this is Julia from Pigmenta Permanent Cosmetics and welcome to my channel the number one place for permanent makeup education, science, and inspiration. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you click that subscribe button below, hit the bell, and turn on your notifications. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. So let's get started. This is someone who came from another technician. She received previously a solid filled in eyebrows and she no longer wanted them so at first we removed the entire tattoo and um, this is actually her second session and we are now ready to color and shape correct her and um, here we go she only had one removal session and it was enough for me to now do a color correction after that the best kind of eyebrow repair is actually a combination of both removal and color slash shape correction. The only exception would be if the client no longer wants new brows. In that case, I would have removed her once more to get all the color out. But in this scenario where she wants new eyebrows tattooed on, one removal will suffice. I will start this procedure by outlining what I mapped out on her eyebrows so I don't lose the shape. I do this by the means of microblading and ensuring that I include the bulb and the tail of the eyebrow. Now I'm ready to do the actual color correction. As you can see, her eyebrows had a blue hue and even after the removal, the blue was still visible. So I am warming it up for her. The end result should yield a warm brown. three passes on the correction color and then another three passes on the microblading. Essentially, the color correction is done and I can now start pulling through all the strokes of the microblading and give her a really nice natural look.
don't mind the bleeding, guys. Although this is only a punctual bleeding, she does have very vascular skin, and we're doing a lot on her all at once. just showing you how deep I'm actually going. I am at this point in the dermal layer of the epidermis and I have to be in order for these strokes to show. So at this point I'm just adding finishing touches, uh, making sure all my strokes are there. This takes about four weeks to completely heal and then she would come back for a check. But 80% uh, of the color and the stroke should stay in. I can't stress enough about this being a really advanced procedure and that the technician should not just go over an old tattoo. Color doesn't cover color. Please see my other videos for that. I explain it in detail. And voila, there you have it. I removed an old tattoo and then did a color correction and you can see the results are like night and day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions regarding removal, color, or shape correction, please visit us at pigmentausa.com or tell me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you same time next week.